Hey, what's going on? Hey, man, you're gone till Sunday, right? Uh, yeah, so maybe coming in on Saturday, but I'm not sure. I'm just posted. I actually had an idea. So do you remember your 23-minute back workout? You mean from like 10 years ago? Yeah, well, I just watched it, but uh, I thought I'd do one myself, you know, take him through a workout with me. But instead of doing just back, I'd, you know, pull everything. Yeah, well, try to pull your muscles if you're going to do that. All right, well, I'll do my best. All right, give it a shot. All right, thanks, big guy. See ya. See ya. So today we're doing a pull workout. Um, we're going to start with my favorite called the deadlift and conventional, of course, but we're going to be doing it on the noodle bar over here, which is a deadlift bar, which just makes it way more fun because you can lift more weight with it, at least I think, but uh, I don't know the scientific facts behind that, so don't quote me on that. But uh, before we get started with our warm up and our actual lifting, take some pre-workout, RX1, my favorite flavor, actually my flavor in general, sour gummy candy. That's the one that I helped develop and is my favorite and I think you should buy it because it's tasty and delicious and it gives you a lot of energy, it's got creatine in it and it's awesome. So just take it. <sighs> yeah, that's tasty. So everyone's deadlift warm up is a little bit different. I like to start with pull throughs, get a little bit of glute work in because glutes is probably my biggest weakness. So I like to warm them up a little bit. You know, good good butt shot, get that. Good butt shot. So another good warm up with the band is uh, Band of Good Mornings. I like to do this to warm up my glutes again and also my low back because low back tightness and low back weakness is definitely gonna hamper me in my deadlift if I don't take care of it. So let's get 12 to 15 reps here. Good thing to focus on if you're doing this is the hip hinge. Because if you just bend at the back, you're doing the whole thing wrong. Ugh. I can already feel my hammies, my glutes, and my low back activating. I completely lost track of how many reps I'm doing. So let's do three more. Ah, nice and primed. We are deadlifting on the noodle bar, or uh, deadlift bar, as they're called, by normal people. Um, we're gonna warm up with 155 I think it is. I don't I don't really know the conversion on the kilo plates too well but I like to warm up with one plate keep it light so we'll go five reps here. Ooh, I goofed up on that. I tried to pull the slack out. I actually ended up lifting the bar off the ground, which is not something you're supposed to do, but just feeling powerful today. All right, so warm up set number two. We're gonna go for the same thing, five reps. See what happens. I gotta tell you, I don't know if you can see it, but I ripped off my callus last week deadlifting, and it hurts every time I grab the bar. So, I think from here out, once we get to 375, we're gonna have to start chalking up because this does not feel good. Pull. Oh my God. I tell you what, I don't care what anyone says, kilo plates are about 30,000 times heavier than pound plates. You can grab the 20 kilogram plate, which is equi equals, I believe, 44 pounds, and it feels like 90 pounds. It's not fun. I hate doing it. If I could have someone load the plates for me, I would. But mama didn't raise no bitch. <gasps> Fuck this. This is gonna be my back workout, not my deadlift. Yeah. 
If you want to lift heavy weights, you listen to this music. I'll tell you what, let me chalk up real fast. All right, we're going three here. That's 375 for three. Um, people ask me why I do that hip shoot sometimes. It helps me get reset and in position. It helps me take a big breath to brace before I pull again. So I'm not like in this position here, waiting to pull, feeling like shit. You know, little method to the madness just works for me. Might work for you. Try it, see what happens. It's very <laughs> heavy. <laughs> uh, Paul, you will be the death of me, my friend. <laughs> so we're gonna go 485 next. It's a big jump, but you know we're just gonna go for a heavy single here. So we'll see where we go after this. Maybe 485 moves. Maybe it doesn't. If it moves smoothly, we'll go up to 507, and we'll see from there. Hopefully we're pulling 500 today. Because if I don't pull 500, my whole family will die and I die. So, not good. So let's lift this weight. All right, so that's the 485 now, which not gonna be fun. Um, even though deadlifting is always fun. Uh, I'm going for a heavy single here. We're gonna see how much we can lift today. Hopefully this moves, and if it does, we'll go to 507. So let's uh, let's check it out. Woo, the power to lifting heavy weight is angry music. Yeah, that went up. So we're gonna go up, try 507, see how that moves. And if it moves any faster than that, which I highly doubt it will, we'll go up. But this is the way I like to do my training is just kind of pick out a, a target weight and usually go for either a single, a double, or a triple, depending on what that weight is and how I know I'm gonna handle it. Um, that's how I like to do my deadlift workouts. It's usually a single or a double or a triple. But um, today we're just doing singles and we're gonna see how they move. Oh man. Oh yeah, by the way, we skipped a few weights. We're going up to 518 at 507. Oh man, I'm nervous. All right, let's do this. <coughs> All right, here we go. Nope, don't have it. That's okay. Whew. Yeah. So some days you're gonna fail. Some days you're gonna succeed. Today's one of those days where you fail and you wanna, you know, punch a wall. But you gotta look on the bright side of things. Still alive, still in the gym. And I really don't got anything else to be happy about right now. My hand is killing me. Oh, geez. We'll try this again in like five, 10 minutes. Give another go, because I think I got it. I just, I don't know. I didn't have it on that one, but you know, sometimes second, third try is the one you get it. There's also a big jump in weight, so that can be a problem, but 
Who knows? We're gonna find out. As, uh, as they say on the internet, fuck around and find out. So, I've learned one of the dangers of deadlifting. It's not your back, it's not your hamstrings, it's not your glutes, you're not gonna like, hurt, whatever. Yeah, people say all the time that's what's gonna be the deficit of a deadlift. For me, the thing I'm worried most about is rubbing off my tattoo. <laughs> I've heard rumors saying that if you deadlift too much, you, you know, bring the bar up your thighs and you rub against it, you're gonna rub your tattoo off. I spent good money on this thing. Probably didn't lose that yet, but I guess that's the price you pay for deadlifting, right? Do the things you love and sacrifice in the process. All right, we're gonna go back to listen to angry music. Hopefully this does something for me. Uh, where are my smelling salts? Here they are. Game time. God. Not happy about that. Very unhappy. But you know what? Shit happens. You fail. You learn from it. And you move on. So let's go do some other lifts. Cause I'm fucking done with deadlifting. Pissed. <sighs> Okay, that got heavy fast. Oh, I also wasn't playing music that time, so that threw me off a little bit. Uh, God, I can't listen to what's on in this gym. This is terrible. I gotta find something better. Something screaming or a little happy. Maybe Call Me Maybe. Love that song. Carla Rae Jepsen made a masterpiece. Simple as that, hands down. No one can fight me on that statement. And if you do, you will die. Now, since we're short on time, we're gonna cut a few workouts, cut a few exercises out. Uh, we're gonna go with the one arm lat pull down, which I like to do a lot because I just feel a little bit better in my last than with uh, ready to pull down. I feel like I get, uh, as Jeff would say, avoid muscle imbalances. So, I take his advice and work on one side at a time, really develop that mind muscle connection to what happens. Oh, that's way too heavy. <laughs> Let's lower that by about 50 pounds. There we go. All right. <sighs> See if I can get one more. Nope. Go to the other side. Whew. I feel my lats pumping up a little bit. I got some bat wings. Ooh, they call me Batman. Dark Knight. Reacher! Where are they? Where are the drugs? That's what we're working with. We're gonna do some standing alternating curls. 30s. See if we can move these for, I don't know, 8 to 12. Mm. 
That was heavier than I expected. I'm going to run the hammer curls. I'm going to use a little heavy weight here. There'll be a little bit of momentum, so don't yell at me for it being a little ugly, but I want to move some weight. So I'm pissed about my deadlift, so I might as well just throw a little bit of weight around. Good, eight, eight solid reps. What I like to do on my pole days, especially when I'm deadlifting, is a hip band, mini ladder. So, step into it. Plus, I'm here. Do 10 steps to the right, 10 steps to the left, nine to the right, nine to the left, back all the way down to one. The tension of the band doesn't have to be too high, but just enough that you can feel it burn in your glutes and in your hips. Oh, there's no way I can go all the way down. That's enough. <laughs> Call me a wuss if you want. Tell me I'm not doing enough, it's fine. My hips are on fire. I do this every time I deadlift. And it works. It keeps me loose, keeps me mobile. It keeps my muscles in my hip and my glutes nice and strong. So I can't complain too much about that because I know that translates really well over to not just my deadlift, but also my squat and most any other leg or low back exercise that I do, your glutes are always involved. So got to keep them nice and, nice and strong and nice and toasty. All right, guys, there you have it. My kind of abbreviated pull workout for the day. Uh, deadlift didn't go as I expected. Um, I like being able to pull more than 500 and I didn't do that today. So I don't know if I'm a little tired, didn't eat enough today or whatever, but We'll come back again uh, later this week, try again. We won't go as heavy. We'll probably go for a lighter triple, maybe a double. Um, but if you guys like this video, uh, leave a thumbs up, let me know. And if you want more, leave a comment below, let me know. And don't forget to turn on your notifications and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, and if you're looking for programs that I do over at athleanx.com, they're available for everyone. Uh, if you check out the site, uh, it'll be in the description below. All right, see you guys.